This is the first product that we've actually, this is the first one that we've fully developed from scratch and actually delivered in our warehouse. All the other stuff goes to our clients, other fulfillment centers, so. With Valera? Our, Beautiful. Uh, you're right, you're right. We've gotten like one order from Valera. Sorry. Correction. No, bro, we, you don't see all the echo shit that arrives at their warehouse? That's not what I was saying. Oh, what are you talking said about? in our warehouse that we created. Oh, in our warehouse. This is the big. This is the biggest one. This is a big client. This yeah. is, they ordered a lot of shit. Damn. Cool. Yeah. So right here, I need it to meet at this square right here. This is a whole another wall all the way down. All the way down. Okay. Across the ceiling tile track. Right here. Do you want that right here? Or you want it like you want it up against the wall? This is easier access, right? On this side. Yeah, I just I just don't see us accessing this room a whole lot, so. Yeah, what did they say about the yeah, 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 no, just no, like, no. Like I have fuck guys my shop to the yeah. I have no problem. Yeah. I expected out. like two grand. No, no. <laughs> That's what no. I mean. But like yeah, yeah. see that belt? Um, like Like how's this belt look? And they've got an either pulley. That's kind of unique. Um, it looks like a pretty, I mean, it looks like it's a really cheap. Belts are shape. cheap, dude. Yeah. Belts are really cheap. Yeah, look, it could be brand new for it all we fucking know. It could yeah. be very brand new. I forgot where the seal was. There was like a serial number with the seal that showed the date. Yeah, they've never run. Well, how do you know? The new greenhouse farm before opening these off stands, we're taking back like new. Yeah. Oh, so they're new. So that's a good thing. Yeah. So we, no, got, that, we got like three you, years out of them. Yeah, you should have your full life. What's good, man? Yes. Yeah. 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 Shannon Sharp's brand. Shannon Sharp and Chad Ochocinco, bro. That's, that's fucking crazy. Now we're late for a lunch that we need to go to. Shit. All right, so we have two containers coming that have all of the equipment to build the PO. First one arrived today. Uh, we're gonna get it offloaded. The installers are already here. The containers are a day late, so uh, unfortunately we lost the day for the install. But they're going to get it unloaded as quickly as we can, and they're going to work for maybe three to four hours a day. Get in here first thing tomorrow morning. The second container is going to deliver. We're going to offload that, and from there, it's, you know, by the end of today, tomorrow, this space over here, we're going to we're going to see the beams. It's going to be erected and going. So yeah, we're really excited. Got a lot. Got a lot going on. Monday, the guys worked over the weekend for the PO installation because on Friday it was just the base layer grid, just like the like the floor part, and now it's like all erect, which is really cool to see. But we ran into a lot of issues that requires a lot of money to fix. So we originally had all of the electricals installed because they gave us a flow chart of like what needed to be added. And apparently that's not enough. So we need to add four more circuits, six outlets to the actual like grid to be able to support. But then we realized our electrical panel was out of room. So we needed a new electrical panel, but to install that new electrical panel and avoid any other issues of power jumping, we needed to add a new transformer. This transformer is brand new in this building. It's brand new when it was renovated like a year ago. Very costly mistake. Uh, very costly. 
addition, I will say. Uh, over $10,000 is costing us. And this, this free PO is not so free right now. <laughs> We're super grateful that we got this PO, but like Derek and I are just, Monday has been a shit show for us. There's been a lot of issues on both sides of the aisle and we're just putting out a lot of different fires at the same time and then all of a sudden we get hit with this bill that we cannot circumvent. We have to do it. And it needs to be done this week. So we have to call an emergency electrician, which you pay for convenience, and it had to be done. So it'll actually be completed by the end of day tomorrow. Like brand new transformer, brand new electric grid, all new circuits installed for this PO. You know, this was, this was like the same time that we're actually building out the upstairs room. So we're actually building up the upstairs and that's like $17,000 upstairs. Add three fucking rooms, three rooms, $17,000. And we, we kind of have to do it because like our team is growing so much and it's just like, kind of like, I mean, we'll be okay, right? Like Q4 has been great for us and it's just all of this upfront cost that kind of comes with everything that are hitting all at the same time. So around $30,000 that we have to spend on this Monday, but if we have it, that means we're doing good, right? Like we're able to grow as a business and take advantage of this because I do think this investment's worth it, but the operation side of the PO is a whole nother ball game. We're going through a lot of different issues with that, the integration side. So. Just want to let you guys know transparently that we see problems every single day. But the bigger we get, the bigger the problems. And it's part of the game. Look, you, you, guys can, you guys can come to China with us. We want to show you guys the process. We talked about it when we were in Vegas. Remember, we were like, dude, like, come, come to China with us and see like, our process. You know, we have different relationships on our side. But, you know, the, the goal is to help the brands that we work with understand that, like, there sh even though you're paying us a retainer, there should be costs that you should be saving up front, right? It's wow. Holy shit. All these, all these middlemen companies, they... they That's like a 33% upcharge, 40% upcharge, man. Go back to the same meeting with those? No, I just, just oh. you can stay in here if you want. Um, yeah, I was just texting Derek between like all of these meetings we've had today and you know, just, we hit milestones every fucking day, bro. <laughs> Dude, like, I would do the P. Our, Diddy our thing. Has been, our growth has been crazy. Yeah. P. Diddy don't hit the same anymore, so I can't do the... I get whatever I want with like that shit. I you can't do that anymore. <laughs> P. Diddy don't hit the same no more. So, um, we've been just growing at such a fucking rapid rate, man. I'm so excited at, like, everything that's happening right now and it hits you all at the same time. We have robotics coming in, we have, you know, we're partners in factories, we have more designers coming in, we're building out upstairs design studio, we have way more clients coming in, we have these massive projects that we're also working on. Like, just everything is hitting us at the exact same time. And it's so cool to, like, talk about and just reflect on. Obviously, we don't have time to, like, sit around and just, like, talk about it. But, dude, like, what the fuck, man? The momentum is just crazy, dude. When it rains, it pours, man. And this time, it's in a good way. And uh, we're not going to obviously relinquish our momentum. We're going to continue to push harder than we ever have as a company. And yeah, man. I think our growth percentage awesome. is like 400%. Yeah, over last year and this year. Yeah, like it's been it's been insane. All the all the stuff that we're we're doing, like. Um, yeah, just like our our network is growing, the clients we're reaching are getting bigger and bigger. We're getting plugged into multiple different industries, not just the fitness industry, which you know, like you said, we're uh, our our background lies. You know, we're getting into streaming now. Uh, we're getting into sports, podcasting. We just signed Nightcap, so Shannon Sharp and Ocho Cinco. Uh, they have their own merchandise brand. They were having some struggles. Um, we reached out to, we reached out to, we heard them talk about it on their podcast, so we kind of blew them up. Yeah. Turns out we're in college, Daniel. So we were able to, we were able to make a connection in that space. So we're able to make a connection in that space, and then.
turns out, um, you know, Austin, the guy who runs their operations for them, you know, knew some of my teammates from Texas. You know, he's followed Daniel. One of those things where it's just, you know, connection. shout out Austin, like Boom. this Austin. Yeah. Austin I'll listens to Nightcap every day. He came in, he was like, brother, shut up with their fulfillment. We gotta find a way Again. to get in touch with them. So, Again. you know, it just, it was just social media that brought us all together. And, um, you know, we made the connection. They like what we're about. Um, they like that we're close to them. And yeah, we're gonna take over their uh, orders starting in uh, mid-November. So we're gonna fix their issues with their supply chain. You guys, if you're, if you're Nightcap fans and you're ordering merch, you're gonna get a lot faster now. Um, but yeah, man, just, yeah, these, these deals that are coming across our tables are, they're getting bigger and bigger. And honestly, it's, I don't even, I haven't even like felt the hit. Like, we haven't, we, it's hard to really, it's just like, we're kind of numb to it right now because it's just everything's going so fast. It's like, I don't know, we gotta, I think we need to like celebrate or something this weekend or, or something. We gotta take a moment for ourselves and just appreciate and celebrate like the wins and things that we're, we're doing because right now we're caught in the weeds of, a lot of shit going on. <laughs> but like, it, it's so hard to sit down and like, or slow down uh, that the things that are happening at the same time because everything comes to you at once and only one time. So you have to kind of accept it at that moment. It's not really chasing the shiny metal object. It's just so much as like referrals, uh, the timing, like everything's just coming at the same time. And for us, it's like, fuck man. Like what is, I mean, we kind of have, an idea of what next year is going to look like, but we thought we did with this year too in 2023. And when we watch back on we've already Broadway, surpassed what we thought we were going to do this year. Yeah. Like we've already surpassed that. Way surpassed it. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy, <laughs> man. But again, like we, we, uh, we want to, like, we're not a company that wants to have a hundred people on staff. We have a bunch of fucking killers in this company and we're, you know, without our team, we're not able to really just like go at this and bring in more business. Like we, we're also growing our team like simultaneously. So we're bringing in more people on fulfillment and, and product development yeah. and just growing. Signing, signing new clients on Proto, signing new clients on fulfillment, having your automation come in right now. We're hiring new staff for, for both fronts. We got Black Friday coming up. So like we got, we got new man manufacturing partners and maybe, things going on. So maybe going back to China in a couple of weeks. Yeah, that's what I meant. Like things are really going um, like a million miles an hour right now. So that's why I was saying, you know, maybe just let's slow down a little bit, appreciate the moment for, for what it is. But that doesn't mean we're going to stop. You know, we haven't even had time going. to buy a couch yet. We need to buy, Derek <laughs> need to buy couches for a We don't even have a table in our break, <laughs> break room. <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, it's been crazy. All right, let me talk to Ashley. All right. So